Jackson yeah. to his performance and Thank sing you. another song for us from his new double CD, Angelic to the Core. Hey, Corey, That's good right. to see you. Hello, and thank you so much for all the love and support. We love you. Thank, thank you. you. Of course, yeah. listen, you know, we were reading some of these tweets. What a phony. And, and they border now that I heard him cuss someone out in a voicemail. He looks like a goblin. <laughs> no, he does. He looks like a, like a, like a, even more, maybe more like a kobold. I think he might be a kobold. <laughs> he looks like he should be having his fingers together going, yes, yes. <laughs> Watch my video. Yeah, no. Do it yeah. review. He's like, get a, he's more like power. the guy that's like, no, King. No, it's not a good idea. Listen <laughs> to me. Yeah, he's worm tongue. Yeah, and fucking, he, uh, he is worm tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Insanity. Insanity. Yeah. But what people didn't know, you were hearing from a lot of people. Pink. Yeah, Pink, Kesha, Miley Cyrus, Paris Jackson. They Michael all Jackson's out. daughter reached out yes. to Wait, oh, okay. No, I was lovely, gonna say, lovely who lovely the fuck's girl. Paris Jackson? When did you realize? Yeah, maybe don't lead with Pink, by the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you people don't know. You heard from a lot. You heard from a lot of famous people. Uh, he heard from the other guy from Wham, <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca Black. Realize <laughs> that it was all noise, and you needed to be true to you. You know what? A friend of mine who actually helped. He's an investor of mine. His name is Brian McMullen, and he was on the phone with me. I was all depressed and I was crying and he said think of it this way when Kiss first started when Eminem first started when Nirvana first started they all got hate people were turning them off at the radio stations people were like no, no 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 <laughs> it was the exact opposite everyone's like whoa what's this fresh new sound yeah I love that he's acting like he's a young buck in the, in the music biz yeah, like just coming up he's, struggling he's in his 50s and he's like yeah I'm just like all them were 40 years ago <laughs> walking off the dance floor at the clubs because it didn't make sense to them at that time. But those all became amazing legends. Right. So just think of it that way. And that really turned it around for me because I'm like, you know what, you're right. A lot of people get hate in the beginning because we're doing something new. It hasn't been done before. So I put on but my hood scarf and my eyeliner. My, I'm sorry, guy liner. I put on my guy liner. <laughs> Even if you think this guy's thing isn't that bad, um, how do you not hate his him thinking people just don't get it because he's the next big icon? Yeah. He's re he thinks the reason why he's got haters is because he's about to change everything. And uh, also, he's not doing anything that I've never seen before. Well, and he's so old, <laughs> he doesn't have lips anymore. And look. <laughs> look, he's a face with a mouth, but no lips. <laughs> His lips are gone. Innovation and being an artist, and we can't be afraid to share our art. So you're not afraid to go at it again today? I'm not letting the boys I don't know, get he to sings us. And this song, beak. by the way, is for America. We are at a time right now where the world needs to focus really yeah. on peace and love okay. and tolerance, especially with all the bullying. So this is about the government. This is about the race. This is about Here the United go. States. There love you and go. Peace. She's like, Clearly, wrap it the fuck yeah. up. Oh, no, Corey's God. comeback. Go ahead, Corey. Thank you. <laughs> Look at all them trying not to laugh at the song they're about to play. <laughs> I mean, his dancing is so he knows it's bad, right? He has to. I don't think he does. I think he thinks it's I think he thinks he's, you know, carving out a new thing. Because he dances this as if like a professional dancer was like, hey Mike, I'm gonna teach you a dance routine, but you have an hour to learn it. And he just showed it to me really quick and I just kinda of was like shoved out there like, okay, here I go. <laughs> Oh, that uh, bass player is taking it for a walk, though. Doing mad crazy things. <laughs> He, tried, he went for it. He Take went for the. <laughs> <laughs> he went. It was basically us going for a note. <laughs> yeah, man. Take a step. <laughs> um, yeah, his dancing. I mean, it's clearly. I, I feel in his head, he thinks he's Michael Jackson. Oh no! Yeah, he, I well, mean, I know that's the obvious call because he's doing Michael Jackson. Like moves, Chris Brown can channel yeah. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Usher can channel Michael Jackson because they yeah. know how to dance. You can't channel Michael Jackson if you can't also dance. Yeah. No, I think in his head, though, he's like fucking nailing it. Killing it. Killing it. I, he probably even thinks, 
perfecting it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Imp- improve, improving yeah, it. He's like, oh, if Michael was here right now, oh my God. Someday he'd, someone will be channeling Corey he'd Feldman. He'd be handing the mantle king of pop over <laughs> to Corey Feldman. Giving me an ill-fitting glove. <laughs> That sounded a bit better. I'll give him credit on that one. Yeah. You. Oh, no. You're going to blow me tonight. <laughs> no, please. Oh, yeah, she's make looking like... Team, make the keyboard girl do it. <laughs> like, Sorry, it's hard to concentrate on playing the song when you keep gripping me out. Uh-oh. He's wearing a lot of makeup. Yeah, he is. Yet he's still shiny as hell. <laughs> he's wearing the wrong makeup. <laughs> oh no, don't do that! Yeah, please, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> oh, he's probably got a word on his shirt. Right? Oh no, he just got weird things. He is. He strips down to the point where he's just like dressed like a uh, fucking ah. ah. That's the fucking monster from Lights Out. <laughs> he's trying to do. Uh, he's trying to do Nerd Girl in the movie that lets her hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It just gets girl. stuck in his eyebrows <laughs> and stick to his, his makeup face. <laughs> Suddenly he be- turns into Hot Girl, Corey Feldman. <laughs> he, he's just dressed like Borat in that one weird one piece bee <laughs> swimsuit thing. Oh, not that one wasn't there though. Yeah. Get up off that ground. Man. Oh, oh, no, 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 come no. on, come on, people, dude! Come uh, on, people that are pretending this is all right. It's need, not all right. And uh, don't get me wrong. Clearly, a little bit of this has to be that he doesn't have a monitor or he doesn't have an earpiece or yeah, something. Yeah, fair enough. Because fair he's. Enough. Ooh, oh <laughs> no! Come on, come on! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like. Hell dog, are you here? This is this is the equivalent. I mean, I guess there's. I get the goof factor because he's Corey Feldman. He's someone we all grew up with. But this is the same as. Hey, here we are at the Today Show. We're gonna walk into a random karaoke <laughs> bar and film this guy and put him on TV just because. Hey, hey this is the Today Show. We found uh, Pete here out in uh, the <laughs> the alley humming Molly Pissed, and we invited him in here to, to <laughs> sing a song for us. <laughs> oh, what if Doc Ice is pissed that yeah, you didn't bring him back on the Today Show? <laughs> oh yeah, Doc Ice is on on Twitter, but like no one follows him. <laughs> he still has the egg <laughs> in his picture. <laughs> Shredding. Ah, quit saying stuff over this bad solo. Oh, right there, it kind of sounded like you forgot the words for a second and kind of like, wor- like worked his way back in. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's waving a little baby toy dollar store flag. And I think a lot of people, too, that are like, well, you know, hey, listen to his lyrics. Like, he is trying to be positive. But just because he's saying, you know, hey, things should be peaceful and we're going to do good things, that doesn't mean that, you know, we got to act like he's good. Well, yeah, he could have written this song on smack. (laughs) 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 He could have been on smack when he wrote this song. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) He could have been been rolling on some E and shooting up some smack at the same time. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I mean, I have a theory. I don't think he wrote any of these songs. (laughs) Maybe he got his <laughs> angels. He got his angels to do it. Yeah, he's what just is paying he a bunch of people. Hey, yo, yo, angels. What he just asked a kindergartner to just <laughs> talk, and he just wrote it down. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm being Corey Feldman. <laughs> take a step. Take a step. <laughs> Ooh, I just want these backups. Like, let's yeah. get these girls a band. 
I like how he looks like one of those like late night rip off minister people <laughs> on TV, and he's kind of I think he's supposed to in a weird way, yeah, because he's got he's, the angels with him, and he really is just because he's kind of like you know raise your hand, speak in tongues, give me all your money. Oh, and you could tell that he just used a drum machine for all his music because the drums are just like <laughs> and so the drummer has like nothing going on because she just has to come in here and play what a machine was playing. Uh, I guess question then, could this potentially be worse than his go for it? Um, in a lot of ways, because this was supposed to be him saving it. And well, I think because at least go for it, I mean, he was singing, but it was kind of more like a, uh, I guess it wasn't a ballad. This is almost like a ballad where he's, it's supposed to rely on his voice a little yeah. bit more. And he had and less dancing, which was good, yeah. I guess. But go the beginning was bad. Go for it's way catchier. The crown down. Peace. Come on, peace. Woo, we love you, America. Corey Feldman, thank you so much. And we want to let you know that Corey wrote an exclusive essay for us addressing his critics. Essay? Oh, he wrote an essay? <laughs> hey, go to he our said. website that you don't care about and read an essay written by Corey Feldman. 